Uh, number B in this programming motion gives more power to the minister, which is not right. When we look at an arm's length institution, the Competition Bureau, which is supposed to act impartial from the government or, or free of political interference, this bill right now gives more power to the minister to have that power to interfere, and that is not right. When it comes to startups, Madam Speaker, Canada has 100,000 fewer entrepreneurs compared to 20 years ago. And when we look at trying to, to make sure there's more competition in Canada, more entrants, we need more startups. We need to start starting. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Then comes the Honourable Member of Hamilton Mountain. Hamilton Centre. Oh, sorry, ha Hamilton Centre, yes. Someday, maybe someday Hamilton Mountain will be sitting in this section. What I would say, I would say, Madam Speaker, when I asked the Honourable Member about the commodification of the production of labour, we were clearly talking about the commodification of wages. I, and, and I would love for him to answer that question. It was a good, fair question, one that I think underscores much of his arguments. So I would like him to um, determine today whether he agrees with that statement, and secondly, whether he agrees with the analysis that the long cherished freedom of competition has reached the end of its tether and is compelled to announce its own palpable bankruptcy. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Bay of Quinte. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker. Well, well to answer the, the member's first question, when we're looking at the success of Canadians and the success of Canadian families, we're looking at, I think we can all agree, GDP per capita, which means what are we bringing home to create powerful paychecks for workers, for Canadian families, to ensure that when we look at the highest inflation after eight years, that Canadians are bringing more wealth home. I think we can agree that when we have uh, competitors or small startups or companies that are creating a value or a system of wealth for Canadians, uh, in which to buy and to be competitive about, we are creating powerful paychecks. That's good for all of those people. When we look at uh, competition as a whole, we then need to make sure that we change the laws to ensure that big bossy conglomerates aren't stopping those small competitors, those small uh, uh, entrepreneurs from being able to start up in Canada to create those powerful paychecks. And of course, when they get bigger, uh, a lot of times there are unions involved in, and great things for workers. So we want to do all those things, but we have to change the Competition Act. We have to be brave in doing that. I hope the member can join me in making sure we make actual real changes that change competition in Canada. Uh,